Welcome back to our video series on building your own homemade photo booth. I'm Brian Parks, the founder and CEO of Shutterpilot. In this video, I want to talk about some of what I call shooting styles or shooting modes. The most obvious shooting mode would be single shot. Basically, this means that each session includes a single photo. The subject walks up to the photo booth, takes a single photo, optionally applies customizations, and receives their photo. We'll get into the customizations and the ways to receive a photo in later videos, but the core aspect of this shooting mode is that only a single photo is taken per session. From here, the next shooting mode to consider is multi-shot. From my experience, I think it's actually worth making a distinction between multi-shot prints and multi-shot GIFs. From the user's perspective, there may not be much of a difference between the two. In either case, they'll, they'll be taking typically three or more photos that get assembled into a final product. But the reason I make a distinction is because it might impact how you'll set up your photo booth at an event and will probably affect the additional assets you'll create for a given photo booth experience. For instance, for a multi-shot GIF, you might build an overlay for each photo in a session, while for a multi-shot print, you'll design a print layout that combines all three photos into a single photo strip or print. In some cases, the printer you use might influence the sorts of print styles you can use, at least within a specific event, or you might want to use the types, size, and shapes of prints you want to be able to print to influence your choice of photo printer. Beyond multi-shot, you can also get into more complex shooting styles, like the boomerang style that Instagram made popular several years ago. For obvious reasons, this typically isn't compatible with a printer, so keep that in mind. Because this is a newer style, some software packages may not support boomerang. Some software packages may provide specialty shooting modes, things like face replacement or special effects similar to what you might find in Snapchat, but these are typically specific to certain platforms and may even work differently between packages that advertise the same feature. Finally, some software platforms offer a video shooting mode. In some cases, and with certain hardware, this shooting mode may require additional configuration or may mean that during the, that event, you can't take still photos. For instance, if you need to put a DSLR in a specific video mode. This can be cool for certain events, but due to the technical limitations, I definitely encourage you to weigh the benefits and limitations. We'll get into more aspects of video booths in the next video, so if this is something you're interested in, I would encourage you to check that out. With all of these choices of shooting modes, you might be wondering how to choose between them for a specific event, or possibly even why you can't have them all. The second question is easier to answer and comes down to a concept uh, psychologists call choice paralysis. Basically, it's the idea that when we're presented with a significant number of choices beyond three or four, they all start to blend together and we struggle to see a difference, ultimately choosing one of the options simply to avoid dealing with the choice anymore. This is a bit of an extreme example, but in our experience, we see people having the most fun with our photo booths when they have fewer choices to make about the experience they'd like to have. Which brings us back to the first question. If you, the photo booth operator, are going to be making a choice of photo booth experience, which one should you choose? This is a very simple question with a disproportionately complex answer, so look out for even more videos on our channel devoted to this topic. But for now, I'll list some quick tips to think about when deciding. First, if you're looking to maximize flow through the photo booth, choose a configuration that's relatively quick, like single shot, and consider only enabling one option. You might even consider disabling some of the additional customizations that we'll talk about in future videos. If you're looking for something that will maximize shares to social media, use a configuration that seems the most fun for your audience. For instance, the multi-shot GIF or boomerang to target millennials. If your customer wants photo strips, you're essentially locked into doing a multi-shot print shooting style. I hope this gives you a good idea of what shooting styles are possible and why you might consider one or more of them. For more videos in this series, check out the playlist linked in the description below. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be alerted when each video in this series or any of our other videos is released. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.